Hey teachers and parents, and welcome to Math Unlocked, where I offer you math strategies for grades three, four, and five. My name is Miss McCarthy, the creator of McCarthy Math Academy, and I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you so that you can help your students. Now today's video is a third grade skill, and we will practice writing numbers and reading numbers using standard form, word form, and expanded form. And after that, if you're thinking, oh my goodness, Ms. McCarthy, I definitely need some more practice with this, I've got your back. I will show you where a ton of videos are for this skill and other skills too. So let's not waste any more time, okay? Let's get to it and let me teach you. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and practice here. We've got standard form, word form, and expanded form. So we're going to start with standard form. Standard form is the regular old fashioned way that we write numbers, okay? It's just the standard way to write a number. For instance, in third grade, we typically write numbers to the thousands place. So if I were going to do that, I would need one, two, three, four digits, put a, an eight in the ones place, a two in the tens place. Let's go ahead and put a nine in the hundreds place and a four. Let's put a four in the thousands place right there, okay? So we've used the digits four, nine, two, and eight to create a standard form of this number. Now for word form, the next one, I always tell students that if you can read this number, you can write this number in word form. If you can read it, you can write it. So let's practice reading the standard form of this to help us write the word form. So we have the nine right there is in the hundreds place, so we need to remember to say the name hundreds. Okay, so to read this, we would say 4,009 hundred twenty eight four thousand nine hundred twenty eight and if you do need some help reading numbers I do have another video on that and tons of videos on my website which I'll show you in just a little bit so we just read the number in standard form let's write it in word form that would be four thousand nine hundred twenty eight this is how you would write a number in word form. So we've got the standard form, 4,928. We've recorded the word form of that same number, and now it's time for expanded form. You'll see here that I have two places to record expanded form, A and B. And this is just my way of representing, there's no official like A and B, this is just the way that I teach it. And that's because depending on which state you're in, your students might have to record the expanded form multiple ways. So I'm going to offer two here. So let's work on expanded form A. Again, not the official name, just how I differentiate between the two. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to take each digit, each digit, we've got the digit four, and that is in the thousands place. It has a value of 4,000. So we're going to take each digit and expand it by recording the values. So 4,000, plus the next digit would be nine, and that nine is in the hundreds place. It has a value of 900, so plus 900, plus next digit is two, and that has a value of what? Yeah, 20, plus our final digit is eight. It's in the ones place, so it is a value of eight. So one way to record this would be 4,000 plus 900 plus 20 plus eight. That's one way to record this number in expanded form. Now again, depending on what state you're in, you definitely wanna check out the standards to see if this next way is another way that you also need to make sure your students understand. And that is this way. So we're going to take each digit. We're gonna start with the digit four, okay? That digit is in the thousands place. So four times 1,000 plus the next digit is the digit nine and that digit is in the hundreds place. So we're going to write times 100 and give that a little hug together too with some parentheses. Plus our next digit is two. That two is in which place? The tens place, that's right plus our final digit, eight, which is in the ones place. So there you have it. That is how you would record your expanded form. I just realized this right here was supposed to be expanded form B. Whoopsies, 
That's all right, you can make that change. All right, y'all, so standard form, word form, expanded form, that's how we do it. Now, if you're thinking, Miss McCarthy, I need some more help with this. I don't have it completely locked in. Let me go ahead and take you over to my website where I can show you where other videos are located to help you more with this skill. All right, so here we are at my website. It is McCarthyMathAcademy.com and I wanna take you to some free resources and some paid resources if you're looking for definitely more support there. The first thing I wanna take you to is the Math Song. Okay, click freebies, go to Math Song check out this place value video because some students need help with remembering their places and their value. This song right here is going to take you all the way to the fifth grade level, which is fine for them to know, but really focus on the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands place. So that's one freebie for you. All right, the next place that I wanna take you to is right here. It's the Florida Best. Click on About Taking on the Best. And the best standards are what Flor are Florida standards, and Florida is my primary audience. So um, what you wanna do is grab your free sample right there because you'll get access to more video lessons. You just click there, you input your information real quick, and I will send you a, a link to get started. When you do that, you go to Members Enter here. You're going to click on Taking on the Best. And since we're working with third grade, we'll click that. Click right here where it says free trial this way, where it's number sense and operations. And that first standard right there, you see, you get access to that. All the other benchmarks here are locked up because they're part of the membership plan, but this one is part of the free sample. So you can go ahead and click that. And right here, we've got place value, video lessons on place value. We've got a video, you've got printables right there. Um, you also have access to the silver resources right here. And I'm just gonna click on your printable so you can kind of see what you got. So you've got tons of help with an answer key to help you understand the different forms that we've got. Um, let's see, we'll go to the gold resources and just see what we've got here. All right, you also have access to McCarthy Math 155 with your trial, and you can go in here and explore all these video lessons right here. You can see each one is a unit, and underneath are the amount of videos that you would need. So you'd probably wanna hang out in here in the place value unit, which has 13 video lessons to help you there. All right, y'all, so there you go. There are the next steps that you can take. At the end of this episode, there should be another episode that pops up over in the corner somewhere, and that will help you to get that free trial to help you get access to those resources. And if you're interested in having access to an entire year worth of third grade content or fourth grade or fifth grade, then you can sign up for a membership. So I really hope that you found value in this episode today. And if you did, can you please do me a huge favor? And that is to like this video and subscribe. By subscribing, that's a free way to allow me to continue bringing free content to you and everyone else. So thank you so much for subscribing. And by subscribing, you'll be the first to know when I drop a new video. So thank you so much for doing that. And like it says down here, don't be a stranger. Please feel free to email me with any questions that you have. I truly love what I get to do and I'm excited to continue supporting you. So thank you. Welcome to my world and I'll see you real soon.